hardly even seems worth talking about, but let's talk about it a little bit, and that's Adam's Family Reunion. Uh, now, okay, uh, there was a point, I think, where they were trying to advertise. This is like the third Adam's Family movie. Like, it had some kind of connection uh, with the previous two uh, from uh, Stephen uh, Sonnenfeld, or Barry Sonnenfeld, I should say, uh, because they did get the original actor who played Lurch back and the original hand actor who played Thing back uh, for this movie. So they try to give it a little bit of continuity, I guess. Um, but uh, that's not the case. Uh, I mean, anybody will tell you this is not connected in any way. It's more of like a reboot in a lot of ways. It's more of like a, a made-for-TV movie, more of like a pilot, basically, for the new Adams Family, which was the revival series in, in the 1990s. Uh, so not really... It's, this is not the third film in a trilogy of, of Adams Family movies, I can assure you that. Um, it's definitely different uh, from from uh, the the movies. I mean, what you got to be fair enough with this movie. It wasn't trying to kind of emulate uh, the the style of, of of those movies. It was trying to be more like the TV series, which the TV series was a little bit goofier and campier, and this one definitely has that going for it. And it is a high energy, zany, cartoony type of movie. And if that's your thing, it, it works okay. Um, especially, I'd say if you liked the TV series, which, you know, I, I I don't love that new TV series, um, the new Adams Family, but, I mean, it has its moments, and this movie has its moments, but it's a far, a far cry from a masterpiece, that's for sure. Um, but let's talk about the plot of the movie. The plot of the movie is, you know, uh, Adams Family, they go to a reunion uh, full of Adamses, they don't realize that it's not really their own family, and hijinks ensues. That's pretty much it. And, you know, there's some rivalries between Gomez and you know, uh, another member of, of the Adams family, uh, played by Ed Begley Jr., who plays a rich white guy. What a stretch. Um, he plays the same character he plays in every movie. Um, and just some zany stuff with, like, uh, there's a side plot about a family stumbling upon the Adams family mansion because they're not in the mansion the whole movie, so they kind of have to put some action there. Meanwhile, the grandma's, you know, kind of torturing these people for no reason. And it's basically, you know, just filler, I guess. It's, like, barely even a 90-minute movie, I think. Um, and some stuff with, like, this dog that Uncle Fester creates where it looks like an innocent, normal dog at first, but then you uh, trigger it with a key phrase that no one would ever suspect to use on this dog and then it goes crazy and turns into a demon beast that kind of sounds like uh, the t-rex from jurassic park or they they steal some kind of sound um and the phrase is get this good boy <laughs> funny um but anyway you know there's crap like that and when the dog turns into like the zany dog beast it's like the worst cgi you've ever seen um again this is not uh not a high budget movie it's it's very low budget and it shows uh yeah uh it, it sucks um but i mean it has things going for it i mean it's I, I can't say it's not entertaining you know what i mean like it's just so fast-paced and kind of zany you, you kind of can turn your brain off if, if you wish i mean i don't you know endorse that but you know, it's maybe something to have on in the background when you're doing something else. I don't know. If you like the Adams Family, you might like this. It's hard to say, but it's it's not really that good. But, uh, you know, what do we have going for it? We have uh, Tim Curry as Gomez Adams. I mean, that's pretty... That's not bad, huh? Uh, that's that's a that's a get. Um, he's all right. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good Gomez, I'd say. Daryl Hannah as Morticia, not so much. Uh, the Pugsley they got, I know he's the kid from Freaks and Geeks, uh, he's he's okay. Uh, the girl, now, okay, the girl who plays Wednesday, she's actually the only uh, member of the cast of this movie that actually made it to the TV show, so that's something kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, she's actually a pretty good Wednesday. I mean, Christina Ricci's hard, hard, to, uh, hard to top, but I, I think she does a decent job. Uh, the Uncle Fester's okay. Uh, the Lurch is the same Lurch from the other movies. The funniest part in the movie is the part with Lurch, by the way, where a woman's drowning, and he takes her out of the water, and dramatic music plays as he goes up the stairs of the water. Then he flops her down, and the music stops. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Um, it's just really stupid. Uh, it's It's not great, but... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's it's worth seeking out, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure you can find it for free on YouTube right now. Uh, interesting thing about it is I have this 
horrible crappy piece of crap VHS that I got for 50 cents. Uh, it's not on DVD at all. So I think they're trying to forget about it. Um, which I mean, I, I don't think the TV series either is kind of, uh, available in any format either, which is kind of interesting because I, I wouldn't mind to to revisit the show. It had it had some moments, um, but I guess uh, the the Saban uh, company isn't really making any moves on that. Of course, Saban uh, they took rights from the Ninja Turtles and, and made that you know crappy show. They did the Power Rangers, um, and at one point I remember specifically they really really wanted the Muppets. Um, now look where they are. Anyway, Adam's Family Reunion, I give it like a 1 out of 10. Um, not that great. So, thanks for watching. Uh, plenty more. <laughs> 31 days of horror reviews to come. So keep on watching my channel. Stay tuned for more. Stay scared. And until next time, I'll see you later.